Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will discuss what EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint is, its advantages, and how to set up and use it to connect to your EC2 instances securely. Amazon EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint is a feature that allows you to securely connect to your EC2 instances without needing a bastion host, public IP addresses, internet gateways, or SSH agents. It uses IAM roles for authentication and authorization, making it a more secure way to connect to your instances. There are several advantages to using EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint. First, it's more secure than traditional methods that use bastion hosts or public IP addresses, because EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint doesn't require a public IP address or internet gateway. Your instances are not directly exposed to the internet. Second, it's easier to set up and use. You don't need to manage bastion hosts or SSH keys. Third, it's more scalable. You can easily connect to multiple instances without having to configure each instance individually. Now, let's first walk through how to create an EC2 instance connect endpoint using the AWS console. Open the Amazon VPC console. In the left navigation pane, choose endpoints. Choose create endpoint. For name tag, enter a name for the endpoint. For type, choose EC2 instance connect endpoint. For VPC, select the VPC that has the target instances. In this demo, I will choose the default VPC of this account. For security groups, select the security group to associate with the endpoint. In this demo, I will choose the default security group for the VPC. For subnet, Select the subnet in which to create the endpoint. Review the settings and then choose Create Endpoint. The initial status of the endpoint is pending. Before you can connect to an instance using this endpoint, you must wait until the endpoint status is available. This can take a few minutes. Now the EC2 instance connect endpoint is available. Let's connect to an EC2 instance using the endpoint in AWS console. To be able to use the EC2 instance connect endpoint, the security group of your EC2 instance must allow inbound SSH traffic from the EC2 instance connect endpoint. In this example, I have a Linux EC2 instance, which doesn't have a public IP address, doesn't have an SSH key pair created, and doesn't have an SSH agent installed. But my instance is attached to the same default security group of the VPC, which is also used by the EC2 instance connect endpoint. And this security group allows all traffic from the resources that are attached to the same security group. So, it allows the SSH traffic from the EC2 instance connect endpoint. Now, let's connect to this EC2 instance using the EC2 instance connect endpoint. Open the Amazon EC2 console. In the navigation pane, choose Instances. Select my Linux instance and then choose Connect. Choose the EC2 instance connect tab. For connection type, choose Connect using EC2 instance connect endpoint. For EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint, choose the EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint we have created. We will keep the default values for username and max tunnel duration. Choose Connect. This will open a terminal window for the EC2 Instance in a new browser tab. Now you can use the terminal to interact with your EC2 instance. EC2 instance connect endpoint is a powerful and secure way to connect to your EC2 instances. It's easy to set up and use, and it provides a more secure way to access your instances. For those who want to dive deeper, I've included links in the video description to the official AWS user guides on creating EC2 instance connect point and how to connect to an EC2 instance using EC2 instance connect endpoint. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more AWS tutorials.
Also, let me know in the comments below what other AWS services you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching.